Welcome back. This is Tom Styles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And a little upbeat music there from the YouTube free collection. And today we're going to do a This and That, a TNT show. That's where I just kind of ramble on for a few minutes and tell you some things that I've found on the internet or what's happening or what the weather is. Whatever. Okay, let's go. So, one thing that I've uh, mentioned before, and I want to mention again, is searching for information on the Internet. And I found a very good way to do this. And I can say I've mentioned this before, but I found some more good stuff, and I thought I would bring it up again. So here if we go to Google, and we type in a subject. I put in buyer's guides for radios. You know, we're always looking for buyer guides. Well, again, the internet will come to your rescue and find all kinds of things. Now, here is the key. Is once you've done the search and you got results, you go over here to this little icon and you click advanced search. That brings you this page. You go down to the bottom and you under file type, you use the pull down menu and you say PDF. So that way you're getting PDF files, which can be articles, can be magazines, you name it. It's there. And then you click advanced search. So now you get different research <coughs> research results. And all the results are in PDF which means it's, like I say, it's an article or magazine or whatever. And then, for instance, here's number two, 2011 Radio Buyer's Guide from Monitoring Times. So Monitoring Times is went out of business about a year and a year and a half ago, but they were excellent magazine for information about radios and antennas and stuff like that. I'm sorry they went out of business. But they do have on the internet many of their publications and articles and stuff like that. So this is one of them. Again, you can see it's at monitoringtimes.com. So we'll select that, and that will up oh, that will open up. Oh boy, I have trouble with speech this morning. I have to go to my speech therapist again. And here is the Monitoring Times magazine on specifically 2011 radios and the buyer's guide and this thing has got all kinds of information it's still downloading it's a pretty big file so this little icon over here tells you the status of downloading there now, now it's done so here's uh it tells you what to look for where to get things and then it it's picks what its picks are in the various categories. This is the best of amateur, trans, amateur transceivers. And then it goes on. There's a little ad there. There's another one. There's the IC7600. It's an excellent radio transceiver. Pretty high end, kind of expensive. There's the Tintec Orion 2. I saw this many years ago at a ham fest. I'm sorry to say I wasn't impressed with it uh, compared to, say, this radio up here. But it's a lot less expensive. A lot less. And then here's some more. And these are all uh, for amateur radio use. There's a scanner. That's an advertisement. And then it goes down and gets to, let's see. This is for new portable shortwave radios. At this time, 2011, here's, uh, and I've reviewed most of these radios. Here's my Grundig 705, uh, Sony 7600, I, I reviewed that. The Kato K1103, I reviewed it. And this is what it's saying, you know, is the kind of their opinion of the best of the, cr of the crop. And then here's some CB radios and antennas. Antenna tuners. There's a rotor. So this particular magazine is devoted just to that subject. And, and it's 
free on the internet. I mean, I just, you saw me, how I found it. And uh, so you can download it and read it and do whatever you want. I've got some, I got some more. Some more? That's eh, kind of an understatement. Let me show you. Uh, where is the, okay. Here is my USB dongle, disk, whatever you call it, of files like this about all different subjects. And it goes on and on. These are all the things that I've found on the internet. Uh, some of them are from my um, other collections outside just the uh, doing the search on the and so I got I got tons of this stuff. I, I really don't even have time to read it all. I'm really falling behind on it. Uh, behind on that. So that's just a, an idea. So if you want to find things again, you know, you can let me go back here and you can, you know, search on anything. You can search on antennas, you know, uh, small antennas. Search on small antennas. Again, you will find articles in a lot of the amateur radio clubs and listener clubs in the members will publish articles and put it on the internet and they're out there matter of fact i found an excellent um slide presentation that one of the clubs up in i think boston i could be wrong about that one of their members did that and they put the presentation on the internet and I found it by doing this search, and it's it's an excellent presentation. And I wrote to them and asked them if I could use it on my show. And I'm waiting for an answer back. Don't know if they will allow me to do that or not, but um, it's it's really a good presentation. And it's and it's it's such a good presentation that just reading it you'll get the information. It's not one of those slide presentations that's just a bunch of notes and unless you hear the speaker, you don't get anything out. This one has got all the details in the presentation. Excellent presentation. I hope the author will let me use it. We will see. So that's another thing. you But you can find it yourself and look at it yourself. Um, what else? Oh, gosh. Now, okay, what else is surveys? I've done, I think, I think I did a trial survey and then a real survey, um, and it's done via Google surveys, and they have a uh, form that you can just type in the questions, and and uh, they will collect the data, and. Um, and you can see, here's the results of the survey. I think I did this survey, hmm, beginning of this year. And here's a, res we had 79 responses. And here's the kind of questions I ask. And I'm going to do this survey again. Um, it was, it was so successful, um, I'm going to do it again. So I'm going to put in the description below the link to the survey. You can go and do this survey it's pretty straightforward. It's anonymous. Although, the one thing I ask is, it is a mistake I made before, and that's kind of why I want to do this again. Let me see if I can find it. Right here. Would you like to be on my show? And I got 20 yeses. But I had no way of contacting those people to try to do like a hangout on the air or whatever with them. So it kind of died. I did. When I went over the survey results before, as I can say, back in January or February of this year, I did ask people that did say yes to contact me. So this time, I'm going to ask in advance, if you answer yes, that you would like to be on a show, similar to the one that Scott and I just did um, a couple of days ago, where we did a hangout, send me an email at trrs73 at gmail.com and say, yeah, I'd like to be on your show and this would be great. And, you know, I, I am no expert. I Boy, I am so far from an expert on any subject except maybe making mistakes. I'm pretty good at that. So I, I really need your help. 
And like, like the uh, show we just did with Scott, Scott had that very, very unique radio. And I would never be able to do a review of that radio because I would never be able to afford one or justify affording one. And Scott had it, so he agreed to do a uh, hangout with me and present that radio. So, and that really went over uh, big. Everybody liked that. So I want to do some more of those hangouts, but I would really like, to, instead of just me, to have other people in the hangout with me. And what it requires is for, number one, to have a Google Plus account, which you most likely have, and number two, um, have a webcam, or even just audio. It'll work with just audio, too, and we can just discuss things. And, what, like for instance, here's an example of something that I like to do. I would like, and I think Scott and I are going to try to do it, but I like to do it with other people in other parts of the world, is scan the shortwave bands together at two different locations, you know, me here in Florida and maybe you over in Europe someplace or Asia or whatever, and just kind of compare notes on the air live. So that's an idea. So that's one of the things we're going to do. So I would, like I say, I want, here's the, um, the survey, and this is number two, which is the same questions I asked before. So we're, it's, please, if you did the other save, survey, do this one again, especially if you have different responses. And like I say, down here where it says, would you like to be on a show? If you answer yes, please contact me um, via email, trrs73 at gmail.com. So that's it for today. Um, I'm trying to get um, some smart battery chargers. I have some older ones, but they don't charge the new 3.7 volt batteries. And uh, I, I looked at a number of videos on battery chargers for these new 3.7 volt batteries. And the, ba the bottom line is you really should be using a smart charger for these because they're easily damaged if you don't have a smart charger. I have a couple of chargers that came with the battery packs, but they're really simple. And several people said, you don't really want to use this because you, they can shorten the life of your batteries or damage your batteries. So, you, so I've got one on order. Should be here today. It's, I'm, I'm a member of Amazon Prime and certain items you can get the same day. Or at least I can here in my location. I get the very same day. So I ordered a particular one that's same day delivery. Your order has to be $35 or more, so I had, I ordered something else um, to get the price to add up to $35. Should have it today, and I'll play with it this afternoon or tomorrow, and then I'll do a video of it. And then I've, I've asked NICOR, who makes a nice, smart battery charger, if they will send me one. So we'll see how that works out. So that, anyway... That's the show for this morning. Uh, we're going to do, try to do some more today. And if you like this show, please give me a thumbs up. Please, if you've got some time, just a, it just takes a very few minutes, please fill out the survey. I'd appreciate that. And thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.